Hey, yo. Uh, Welcome to the live stream. My name is Robbie Strike, video creator extraordinaire, uh, also known as the uh, Happy Satellite Nerd. Uh, tonight's uh, episode is about free satellite TV in 2023. Yeah. Um, so oh, I should bring my audio up a little bit here. Okay, I'll bring that up. Hopefully that doesn't cut out. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, so just any satellite, we're just going to cover the satellite news for free satellite TV. What is free satellite TV? Well, free satellite TV is the ability to get free satellite channels free um, through either KU band, which is like uh, the, the smaller dish, um, kind of like uh, this dish here. <laughs> this dish here, it would be a KU band dish. Actually, this dish here would be the good KU band dish. This is the one you buy. And you find out it's probably going to be like a small one. It's not going to work very well. This one will be a much better one. Uh, just use this one because this one is a transparent image and it kind of works with the stream nicer. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, tonight's episode is about free satellite TV. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into how to get free satellite TV. If, you, if you're if you very new to the free satellite TV hobby, um, please check out my... Uh, my um, YouTube channel, Robbie Strike on YouTube. Robbie, R O B B I E. There's my website right there. Robbie Strike, uh, spelled like that on YouTube. And you can uh, learn all about free satellite TV. Just type in free satellite TV, Robbie Strike on, on a search engine, you'll find me. Uh, and you can learn all about that. And I, on all my YouTube channel, I have several playlists. So if you're new and you're like wondering, how do I learn more about this type of stuff? Uh, you can go on and watch one of those playlists and it'll have all the information that you'd want to have for just getting into this hobby. So looks like we have the, the, the stream on the go. There's the leg, the classic leg of uh, YouTube. And there's some people in the chat room. Uh, if you want to chat, um, the best place to be able to chat is if you go over here on the, um, uh, on the um, YouTube chat. I, I think that's coming through right now. I'm seeing it uh, pop up here. Yeah, I see the YouTube logo. So if you want to join in with the chat, uh, now I'm going to give uh, first priority to people who are actually voice call in because I'll be having it uh, easier to have a conversation that way. But I'll try to answer some questions just if you have something and I miss it, maybe copy paste it a couple times, then I'll see it in the uh, in the chat room. Sometimes that's what I do. Uh, so I'm going to have some tea here. And uh, so another place where you would want to find out more information about satellite would be uh, different places. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show my screen here. There. So if you're on Facebook, some of you hate Facebook. I understand that. A lot of people hate Facebook. But if you're on Facebook, you want to uh, uh, go on social media, check out this group. Uh, free satellite TV for North America and channels plus over the air plus streaming, but we do tend to focus more on satellite here. Um, we even have a chat room in there. I don't know how to turn it off. So if it gets really bad, uh, hopefully Facebook will <laughs> let me shut it down if needed. But I saw I put it up there, a new feature that we have there, a chat room, but really the best place to chat is on discord. Uh, if, uh, that's where, all the big boys, all the cool kids are on Discord. So if uh, you want to join the satellite TV server, at the bottom of this video, there's a place where it's like the flow code or all my links, one of those two things. And there'll be a thing for the Discord server. You can join the Discord server. Um, see, Kevin's posted some funny emoji thingies. Uh, we have, uh, we also have, the thing I like about uh, Discord is there's a voice chat feature. Uh, we do have like a Saturday... Whoops, I think I can kill my audio here. Block. Uh, I hope they didn't kill my audio, did they? Okay, good. Uh, you can join this voice chat here. I'm just going to hang up that. There. Oh, there we go. You can join the voice chat in, uh, in Discord. And... Uh, uh, we can have voice chat. We're not going to do that now. We're, if you want to call in, use Restream. But sometimes we have like uh, voice chats there. pre, um, uh, And it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, so for satellite news, uh, the place I go to just to find out any updates would be this site here. Uh, it's really good for uh, finding out when the channels come and go. 
which uh, in this hobby, it tends to go there. A Tech 2000 has a store free advertisement for Tech 2000 uh, where they sell um, the 5G filter dishes. If you're finding you're having problems with your C-band dish, there is different LMBs that you can get that will help uh, filter it out. Now, what's happening? There's a lot of doom and gloom and all this. Like, oh, 5G, you won't get nothing, and which is totally not true. I'm still using C-band. Like, it's uh, the the sky is falling is what you hear about all the time. What it might affect is if you have a smaller dish, you might not get all the transponders. If they're using a high FEC, it can make it difficult. Uh, so there's things we can do um to uh work around with uh 5g interference and local microwave basically microwave radio interference and it's just uh that's the problem with the fcc and industry canada as well they give away a lot of the spectrum to the cell phone companies and the cell phone companies are taking over a lot of the spectrum and uh and moving everything around it'll be great when we have another technology that is not uh I don't know, cell phone, like it'll be light technology or something where all the radio spectrum will be free and open again someday. Who knows? Like they're, the, um, but we're still in a world where we still use radio, uh, the our radio technology for communications. I, I mean, we do use fiber optics and things like that. Um, Tech 2000 and also, uh, uh, also has satellite dishes. It appears that they have C band satellite dishes in stock. Uh, give a free plug out to Tech 2000. Uh, they sent me my uh, uh, my eight footer, uh, and they have uh, ten footers. Now, if you're gonna get into C band, I do recommend going all the way and getting a ten footer, just because of the way uh, with uh, with the microwave interference, you'll probably have better results with a ten footer. You can still get channels with an eight footer. I still get channels with an eight footer, but then there is maybe the the odd channel that I won't be able to pick up on my eight footer, and I kind of wish I had a ten footer, but I'm not gonna. Worry about that right now. But if you want to uh, send some uh, money on my Patreon or PayPal donate so I can uh, get a bigger property for all this, uh, for a huge satellite farm, that would be great. If there's any donors out there that have millions of dollars, I'll take it. Uh, so we have Discord here. And uh, so if you want to join the Discord. Uh, so <clears throat> another thing is... <clears throat> KU band. I like to get into the KU band. Um, a KU band dish is like the smaller dish. I don't know, the 30, 32, uh, 32 uh, inch dish. I say inch or <coughs> centimeter. Anyway, um, I don't like reporting on this because this channel te- the, this channel tends to come and go a lot. Is Antenna, Antenna TV and Rewind, um, which are available. Um, they come and go. I guess they're MPEG-4. So you definitely will need an MPEG-4 receiver, which a lot of channels are like that these days. Um, but that's over on 91 West, Galaxy 17, also Nimic 6, the Bell satellite. Uh, but then there's a KU, a bunch of KU transponders, and you can get Antenna TV and uh, Rewind and all them. Now, I can get those on um, on uh, Antenna, actually. Well, I get Antenna TV. I don't get Rewind. But some of the shows that I like on Rewind, like Family Ties and all that, are on the Roku channel, So, uh, which is like, you know, a streaming uh, thing on my smart TV. So it's kind of, I'll watch that a little bit if I, um, if I were to watch like Family Ties or something like that. The man, the legend, Alex P. Keaton. Yeah, so that's uh, Galaxy 16. What else do we have in the news? Um, new channels. Uh, there's the Oxygen of True, True True Crime channel. I don't know if they have a website for that. I think it's just one of the crime channels that was available before. How to repair a super jack positioner. Handy tips there. New, Newsy replaced by Scripps Network. That's another thing I want to talk about is the Newsy channel. It's not really a change. It's just a rebranding. Newsy, which I never liked that name, Newsy. Anyway, I found Newsy was kind of a dumb, a dumb name. Uh, Scripps News, I don't know if that's any better, but Newsy was kind of, I don't know, not very serious for a news channel. Um, but um, Oxygen True Crime. Uh, you know what? If I can pull up their site, let's just maybe take a look at that. 
<clears throat> and uh, here, before I mess up my screen here, break the camera. Sorry about that, guys. Oops. Just going to do a quick Google search here. I don't know if that's anything new. Um, is that there? That looks like the logo there. Yeah. So let's take a look at that site. There I am. Uh, shows and the schedule. Let's just quick, quickly look at the shows. You can pull off this. It's oxygen.com. That shows. Good thing I got that oxygen.com uh, thing. I'm not a I'm not big into crime shows myself. Uh, I'm more of a comedy guy, but I know there I have a lot of friends out there. They like this type of stuff and they they enjoy this. So uh, I, I know Patrick uh, from uh, the North Bay. There, I think he's into this stuff. Um, yeah. So there, there's a kind of a look at what the shows are that are on true uh, that channel. <clears throat> Is there anything else I wanted to point out? Um, and then, uh, 91 West. These are more just, just channel updates. Not a whole lot. Uh, like what I thought would, would happen with the new year is that we would get um, a lot of transponder changes. I don't even think this one here, Liber the Liberty Radio Network, I don't think they really moved because I didn't do a rescan or anything. I think they just decided uh, – it looks like they're actually um, – covering galaxy 19's ku band side over at uh, tvr tvr set um and i gotta give kudos to liberty the liberty radio network or lrn.fm of all the like the channels that, and radio channels that are on free to air they actually promote that they're on free to air if you want to watch lrn you can get us with a free to air they call it free to air uh, you can get it with a free to air uh, satellite dish they always have promos for that and uh I called in one time and uh, talked to them about that because they're like a call-in radio show. Um, so yeah, it's LRN. Uh, what else do we have in the news just so I can cover? Yeah, just what I noticed with TBRL Sat is with Gal Galaxy uh, 97, Galaxy 19, which is like, that's the um, kind of the, it was the star satellite for all the free to air channels for North America. We, get, we don't get as much as what they do in but those that are around, we, we like that. Uh, there's WGN Sports. I haven't really looked at Galaxy 19 a whole lot. I don't I don't even know if these channels are coming in in the clear. The Grit TV, the Ion Mystery, the Laugh TV, and Court TV TMZ. Is that a channel now, eh? Huh. I don't have a big fan of celebrity stuff, but hey, if you are, it's on satellite. But this is all... Uh, another thing I got to point out is when you see the digits like this, the four, four digit uh, frequencies here, that means it's C band, which means you need a large dish. Now for the smaller dish, the KU band stuff, that would be like the five digit stuff here, horizontal polarity or whatever. <clears throat> um, but galaxy 19, a lot of this stuff still looks the same. Um, but I always got to point out, that it does have positive, positive TV and smile of a child. And there's a lot of Christian channels on there, but like a lot of really um, good content on there. I know a positive TV, they have um, <clears throat> positively, positively good movies. There's, there's some decent movies on there. They're showing chariots of fire, the heat of the night. Uh, and these are like on broadcast TV. So there is commercials and ads. And actually, even if you don't, have, a lot of these channels, when you look at the satellite charts, you can actually watch the stream. I'm not going to click on the stream right now. I don't, you know, I don't know if that's going to, um, but you can watch it online. And uh, they also have availability on the Roku and Fire TV and all those different apps. Um, another thing is uh, I didn't talk about was uh, um, uh, we were all expecting in 2022 more news from um, uh I might be on the satellite now. Oh, no, not that one. This one here. Uh, from uh, Orby TV. 
And we really haven't heard a whole lot from them. Um, like we're expecting that they're going to do a soft launch, but they never ended up doing that. Um, but another good KU band satellite, but you do need a uh, a newer receiver that's able to decode uh, H.265 is uh, UTELSAT 117 West A, and it has 116 uh, West. And it has, like, I've covered, had a video covering all this before. Um, I think they may have added a channel or two. Is um, a bunch of news channels, a lot of religious channels like CBN News, which uh, I guess a Christian news channel. Uh, Revival TV, God TV, CBN News, um, Real America Voice, and Heartland, which shows country music videos, uh, and Red Green. I mean, they show Red Green. You got to give them that. That's having Red Green on satellite is pretty awesome. Uh, Hunting Channel, um, and One News America, but it's like One News America Encore, and the news is like days after the actual like events, so it's like a replay. So that's one thing I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. Is this a, it's old news? It's not really the latest uh, news. So if you want to go for news on this channel, probably Real America Voice will give you more of the late breaking news. Uh, this one I <coughs> I can't get BYU TV on that satellite for some reason. I was playing around with my um, uh, my motorized dish, and I discovered I should have the guys up there. I talked to that the uh, dissect switch that I, I was running the motor through the dissect switch, and it wasn't working. It was like making the u-cells uh, not work um for whatever reason maybe it was the switch maybe i could try a different switch i bought like a cheap switch I, I, and it was working so um uh anyway so those are the channels oh yeah and then there's another the c-band superstar for the big dish uh satellite to point at is uh 101 west which is uh scs1 it's the one that has which this is kind of an update too now, a lot of these channels are encrypted with uh, DigiCypher, so don't jump up with excitement when you see them because they're like cable channels that are encrypted. And we don't we don't promote encryption. That's one of the questions I get a lot is encryption. Don't ask me. It's like uh, when people come up, I, it's kind of rude when people come up and ask, can, um, uh, can you do something illegal for me or whatever? No. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Huh. I didn't realize they had this. Uh, this is from last year. I, I don't know if I can pick this up. There's a uh, TBN mux on this satellite. Uh, so here, yeah. All right. And so what's happened with, like, for example, on 101 West, it's always been popular that MeTV was up there. Now, a lot of these channels were all, like, on... Um, um, they are on different transponders. Now they're on one transponder, and they're MPEG-4, 720p, uh, Heroes and Icons, 480. I think they were 720 before. Um, and Movies is 480. So they may have reduced the quality of these, but they have them all on the same transponder. At least in my area, I'm able to pick this transponder up a lot clearer than uh, I was with uh, when it was all like on their own individual transponders. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, so that's a superstar satellite in my opinion. Uh, another thing I really like about the satellite is story TV. Basically, this is like my killer app channel that I'm a big fan of. <clears throat> story TV is basically like the, uh, the history channel <laughs> from 10 years ago, maybe 20 years ago. There, you click on where to watch. If you're, it's available in your market, they won't say that they're on satellite. They never do. Um, oh, yes, there's those modern, modern marvels. That seems like a, it's a documentary from, from like 10, 15 years ago. But hey, it's still good stuff. And I like this channel. I'm, I'm a big fan of this channel. So, yeah, it's running on mar modern marvels uh, document. Um, not documentary. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Marathon. A marathon of mo modern uh, modern marvels. All right. All right. So uh, uh, right now, let's uh, uh, let's have a look at the comments. Not the comments. Yeah, the, yeah, the comments here. We got people in the chat room. A lot of people in the chat room. Um, we have Paul joining us in the chat. 
Uh, we got Bra- Bra- Brady in the chat. Um, somebody is saying, uh, not entirely sure, but it was 87 or 81 on one of the satellites that I was talking about 10 minutes ago. So, um, Radio Pirate says, nice one, free TV is the way to go. And yeah. It is the way to go. This is like I, I I've got I've considered myself like a free TV purist. I haven't had cable in years. I did have cable before, but I, I haven't had it in years. Um, but yeah, I, I stick to the over the air and free air, the satellite because the nice thing with the satellite is I can still see. Um, I can still got a ton of channels on like local channels with an antenna, but then I can still get channels with a. Uh, I, you get the best of the both worlds, really. Really, I have the best of three worlds. I do streaming. And people like to, I like to comment at me. It's like, have you heard of streaming? I'm like, yeah, I've been streaming for it since the 90s. So, yeah. <laughs> Using real player back when it was like crap, be quality. Uh, TH High says, I'm still using an old Prime Star dish. K works great, but still have uh, two 10 foot dishes, C band. There's lots of things. That- that have been coming out. That's two C band dishes. That's like that's like if I had a giant yard. Actually, you know what? I'd want a twelve footer or fourteen footer. <laughs> I'd be like Patrick. <laughs> uh, somebody says I need to post wild feeds. I kind of throw that out there to our our uh, Facebook group and other places like that. If you want to post, um, even on Discord, there's a section for that. The only thing is, if you want wild feeds, the place to go for that is Rick's Wild Feeds. Just do a Google search for Rick's Wild Feeds. It's a forum site. And then that's the place where everyone posts the wild feeds. I'm not going to try to take business away from Rick's, but like sometimes if we see things, or if you want to report it on Rick's, also report it on our Facebook group. Because sometimes I don't go on Rick's web- oh, a website all the time. I do check in on it from time to time. Probably could look at it tonight and we'll see if there's anything new there. Cause actually I haven't looked at it in a few days. Um, cardboard guy is anything good on 127? I can pull up 127 for you and take a look here. Uh, 127 West is one actually that's the one that has uh, NASA and some other C band channels. Um, pull it up here and i'm just going by tvro sat i don't have the receiver down here in the basement to look at it and because of youtube and all that i uh, copyright i don't want to go surfing I, I think it would be really cool to have a video of like just surfing through the channels there is that on on youtube um but um they'll I mean, you can check that out on youtube too there'll be people that will uh, have that up there uh so here we go uh, i'll bring up the uh chart here how do i do this uh, so lots of encrypted stuff here. Um, some free to air stuff, weather channel. I don't think I could pick that transponder up. I can get the NASA one and I think I can get fuse TV. And surprisingly, I don't watch fuse TV a whole lot because, uh, I don't know. I, I like DigiNets and all that. Oh, there's, there's my head. I'm trying to put my head in the shot. Anyway, while we're doing this, I'm going to let uh, Patrick and uh, Kevin join in. They've been sitting here on the side of the of the stream. Uh, I'll bring up uh, my friends from Quebec. We have uh, Kevin and we have, uh, oh, we have Patrick. No. And guys, remember, I, I, I had to yell at them earlier. I said, this is an English program. <laughs> my friends, friends, friends are talking French together tonight. The poor English guy stands here and I was like, I don't understand a word you're saying. Can you please talk in English? <laughs> and uh, do you get, uh, do you ever put your, uh, do you ever go to 127, Patrick, with your C-band dish? Or? Uh, I went there uh, a long time ago. Now I'm not sure if, um, if there's still stuff there. Uh, I'm not quite up to date since... Uh, you I two Americas uh, there, and it's in it's in the clear. It's it's got like wrestling and all that, but I can't. That's this transponder here. It might be the uh, high FEC rate, unless they 
No, it looks like they've uh, redid it, uh, or at least uh, this is uh, from uh, about a month ago. I don't know if they trans changed transponders. I love how there's a channel called Cowgirls. There's channel. a Cowgirl channel. Yeah, let's check that out. That's pretty awesome. I never knew. I that. hope it's I not like, the uh, the cowgirl. I think it is. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a cowgirl channel. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, it's a cowboy channel. Then why? Oh, oh, the website says it's the cowboy channel, but the on link on the TV or O side it says the cowgirl channel. Even says right here the cowgirl. Or maybe they're making a joke on it, but this is Cowboy Channel. Uh, it made me click on it. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> but it's the Cowboy Channel. Okay. TV Arrow set. You need to uh, fix that. <laughs> and oh, there's... there is the same thing on uh, Linksat. Yeah, and then there's Newsmax. The I don't know. I thought, I thought with Newsmax, they're like always they're in the clear, then they're encrypted, and I don't know. So better, there's a much better news channel on 99 West. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So it's like they can't decide if they want to be free or they have they want to be encrypted. You, like, you know yeah. what? It's kind of the fun thing about um, about uh, satellite is sometimes when the new channels come out. Uh, you kind of get the first look at the channel, like when it's new and it's fresh. It's kind of fun and cool uh, when the channels first launch, and mm -hmm. and they'll be on C on they'll be on satellite, and then they'll go like they'll go off satellite or they'll go encrypted. But a lot of the channels when they're new, they'll be free on satellite. I guess they're trying to build their audience. They're like, hey, we'll get that uh, satellite nerd guy to talk about us to get to give us some publicity, and then uh, and then they leave me in the dust. I think also it's for the uh, so they have time to uh, to set up the provider with the encryption. So at first it's not encrypted. Oh, that's and probably the real reason. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Up, I'm thinking it's completely encrypted. wrong reason. Yeah, I'm just thinking of my own. I'm down to earth. Little Sorry world. That. <laughs> it's more down to earth, but <laughs> they have no minutes. idea that I exist. They have no idea that we're all here on on a Saturday. You remember the first time the movie network when HD there HD. Uh, Transporter was even was not encrypted. Yeah, no one was able to receive it uh, as the uh, as you don't have the graphic interface in Shot Direct for that. But uh, it was not encrypted. Actually, back in the day, what you have to do is is use your C bank or your LNB on it with your Shot Direct receiver, and you you're forcing you're forcing a mismatch of a. Of, of the wrong LNB, and you end up having a movie channel on the wrong channel. But if you are able to do that, it means that it was not encrypted at all. So, yeah. Well, we got Monty right. here asking uh, about about any. Are there any manufacturers for CKU satellite receivers that uh, have? Oh, have drivers for the uh, positioner arm. Uh, I, I never actually set it up for this, but the uh, the Super Jack positioner box. You can uh, run it like with a Dissec switch. Uh, so through through Dissec, you can like uh, tell your dish to move. You'll excuse me. Your dish positioner will move. Uh, you basically run the coax cable into the positioner, and then you can program it. You have to like, program it yourself. I like, go through the uh, riddleless process of setting it all up. Uh, but then if you do that, I hate that myself though because I have a motor and I accidentally switched to. I had everything on U cells. This is a, uh, a different setup, but uh, every time I moved to a different satellite, the disc went moving. I'm like, no, don't move. I'm just trying to look at the channel list, which is annoying. That's why my positioner is not hooked up to my uh, um, to my uh, C band dish. So it's not actually a receiver, but you have to. You could actually hook it up through your disc position dish positioner. Uh, and, um, uh, yeah, there's no receivers that, that do that anymore. Receivers are, I don't know if I have one here on my desk and it's probably buried in. Yeah, probably the box. Box. yeah. The receivers are just like little tiny boxes now. So they don't have like the amp, the power to like, uh, run a motor and all that. And that's where the dish positioner would, uh, come in handy. I have a video. If you type in, uh, on my channel for dish positioner, you'll see one of that come up and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
uh, don't, uh, for the signal itself, I don't recommend. Uh, I don't recommend recommend to use that because the box is actually plastic. It's not shielded, and your signal is going through a box that is not shielded. You you might ruin your like if you buy those cheap receivers from Amazon, you might ruin a few of them. (laughs) At least they're like sixty bucks. Like the (laughs) I bought one of them and I can't get like any uh, channels. Like it has like the preset, but. I don't know if it's like my L and B that it's broken or if it's like the the receiver being crap. But What's uh, L and B? Like are you using like a Shaw Direct uh yeah. repurposed dish? Yeah, I'm using one of those. Again with the the Europe stuff we don't see. <laughs> yeah, we don't see the Europe stuff. I think I can get I should have done a video on this. I can get 30 West is like the most uh, Eastern satellite that I can pick up, and there's not a whole lot of interesting on there. At least that interests me. I think maybe there was at one point, um, and there is a few things that might pop up on the C band side of like 40 West, um, but um, mostly I stick to like 101 West, 127 West, and uh, 97, 99 West is uh, usually where I, I the channels that I'm viewing. If you guys have anything else you want. Well, you guys watch, let me know in the comments. People have to understand that it's not a matter of uh, only that the hurt is wrong. It's also <laughs> the footprint of the satellite, the power where, where, where the transponder uh, hang and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into consideration uh, on what you can see uh, or not. Yeah. So. Uh, Todd asks, have I found any encrypted channels at all? Are they all in the clear? Um, well, I guess I'm looking at this chart here. There's like a ton of like encrypted channels. Although one thing you want to watch out for when you're like watching satellite, sometimes you'll scan in a channel and it'll scan in with the dollar sign saying that it's encrypted. But then when you watch it, it's actually not encrypted. Uh, so um, sometimes it's fun to go through the encrypted channels because sometimes there'll be a challenge free preview mode and that does happen at the times and you know you get like a little free weekend <clears throat> they'll probably report it on tv or rosat or on rick's wild feeds so you have an adjustment on your receiver that says uh, fda only most of the time you shall not put it on so you can see exactly what you're uh talking well, about yeah yeah you usually just do a, a scan for the block because if you do a scan uh for the encrypted channels you'll scan in hundreds of channels and they'll all be encrypted and they won't work so unless you want to go through that and then do a rescan i mean uh it's it's up to you but you uh, can but you check can, the you, and the, and the, mm, them yeah. if, they don't, if they don't work also it's a way to find channel that actually not encrypted oh and this guy's saying uh uh, there's often channels that have encrypted channels in the clear, so it might scan in as encrypted. Yeah, you can always try try around and see if they're. Uh, um, oh yeah, that's another thing. When I did a scan, I noticed that Patrick uh, North Coaster uh, 116 had some Spanish and jewelry TV added to it. Not nothing great or wonderful, but I mean it is good. You know what I'd love to have is Story TV on KU Band. Put it on 101 West where history used to be. And uh, this week is like the, uh, I don't know how many year anniversary when history went off the air. That was like uh, a sad day for me in KU Band satellite because I was watching History Channel on KU Band on 101 West uh, for a long time. And um, and then all of a sudden one day on New Year's Eve, the hotel networks decided to do everything streaming. They would just stream like what it was, why his History Channel was up free in the clear is uh, uh, there was a, a company called Hotel Networks and they would have like, satellite distribution of channels to the hotels and uh i think they might have had something encrypted they had bio and history channel and that was like for the longest time those were like it was only two channels but it's channels that i really watched all the time and then they went away and we were all sad i have i have a question though i don't know if that channel still exists then that was like on the Bell satellite uh, with my friend from like way back in the day. Uh, it, it's 
literally the channel what it is is just a fireplace that's literally the the channel it's just a fireplace that plays like 24 hours oh th those goes uh come and goes by the way uh, they, uh yeah they... The, the, i i get the uh, the fireplace a couple fireplace channels on like i think it was on pluto dot tv and uh, i did a video about it um where they have the fireplace channel but it's they have ads during the fireplace commercials the one I remember the, didn't have ads. No, no. Well, I remember Antenna TV, or was it Me TV? I think it was an Antenna TV. On Christmas Day, they had Christmas music and the Yule Log. And I had that on when we opened our presents. So, Yeah, I remember that because me and my friend, like that was like back in like 2012 or something. We were My friend didn't have like a cut a bell, cut them off. And we were so bored because there was nothing to watch. We would actually watch that. And we actually, like, I don't know if I should say that on here, but we used to say, like, my friend used to troll me and saying, yeah, we'll keep watching it. The, you know, Santa is going to come down the chimney and burn his ass. <laughs> we were so bored. You got to understand that. When you yeah, someone, it, someone, someone's commenting about it. WWE, uh, we, WWE, on yeah, K band, or no, sorry, WWE is on C band up on like uh 40. Uh, or someone will say in the comment there, uh, I'm when gonna you, say the wrong side, like because the old satellite that was on when you come back to television uh, and you didn't watch it for years, I can tell you that it's still nothing to watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No not, not a whole lot to watch. Uh, someone said, why do we lose MeTV? Uh, it's, MeTV is still up on satellite. I was just talking about MeTV a few minutes ago. Um, I, I don't know if you're talking about in your local broadcast area, because I think a few areas did lose MeTV uh, with the antenna. It's still on satellite as far as I know, so... <coughs> One of the broadcasters in my area, that's the only sub channels that they have is MeTV. I'm surprised they don't have more. They're owned by Nexstar. And I'm surprised that Nexstar doesn't have like a whole whack of channels uh, be Nexstar. But um, I'm almost like I wish Sinclair had more channels because like, it tends to be the Sinclair owned stations have a lot more uh, sub channels. At least you have sub channel because uh, here we don't have any sub channels. I love how. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, uh, Patrick. Hmm? Uh, go uh, ahead. Kurt, Kurt wants to join in. I'll, uh, I'll uh, add him to the chat. Sure. Hey. Hey, Kurt. How's it going? Hi, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Hey, uh, and going, just uh, for Todd there. Yeah. For Todd, yeah. Heartland used to be uh, TNN. They brought back TNN and they had the old TNN. If you remember, like, well, I remember when I was young, they had the Nashville network and it was like channel 32 on McLean Hunter or something like that. And it had the guitar. And I always thought like it was a woman with like braided hair or something like that. I didn't read the logo for TNN. Uh, and then it became the T TNN became the Nashville network or the national network before it became Spike TV. And it was like uh, they, when they had ECW on it, because I always thought being uh, in Nashville, it should have wrestling on it. And it never did have wrestling on it. Um, I remember. Wasn't there a wrestling show called like TNA or something like that? Oh, yeah, it's still around. Oh, yeah, it's still around. Yeah, it's Impact Wrestling now. Like, if you have a Roku, there's, like, ch a channel for yeah, I have a Roku, Impact right. Wrestling, which is pretty nice. Like, it's a 24-7 uh, Impact, and they show old pay-per-views and everything else from Impact. And um, I, I personally, I don't have time, really, to watch that. I like the other wrestling organizations, like Ring of Honor and uh, AEW. I just... Um, Impact Wrestling, it's always had, like, it's, it got really good, and then it got sucky for a while, in my opinion. Um, some might have a different opinion than me. I understand, but. Going back to the to the uh, fire, or the, oh, the chimney, ch not the chimney channel, but the fireside <laughs> channel. You ever see it when a guy or a woman <laughs> feeds the fire? You see the hand go in and they add a log? Uh, I think it's not, yeah. <laughs> Me, it's a guy with the uh, with the square vest, you know, red and blue. I say, I 
I think what I think the channel I watch with my friend uh, that we uh, we were so bored that we, we we used to think that the the Santa was coming down the chip didn't burn his ass. I think it was a loop because we never saw like a hand or anything like that. We were uh, so Kev bored. Kevin Duncan and he uh, he he got himself a C band satellite going. He's really into the hobby and looking at the fe feeds. He says okay. that the cowgirl channel is a real deal thing. Um, is an actual channel. It's up. So maybe it broadcasts as that. Maybe they just haven't updated their website. I don't know. Let uh, If you got more in insight on that. Cow girl I'd have to do channel. a video on that. <laughs> the Cowgirl channel. I honestly thought that was like a, um, a uh, well, you know, a uh, not safe for work channel. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it might be that. It might be something like that. So, yeah, I don't know. we won't get into that. No, <laughs> we we have to so, stay uh, monitor. Got a question? Uh, for I you mean, people least. do ask. You know, legitimately, people do ask me that, and uh, um, not. I don't think any of that's in the clear, from what I've seen. Um, but um, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think at one time it was uh, in the clear, maybe years ago. So, Robbie, nowadays, what's actually the best uh, sat you can find to the most uh, the most transporter on it? So you can uh, so you can set up your dish or understand what's not working. That's a bad case. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd say. Well, the one I like is One One West. It has. Yeah. Um, it has like, but I like retro nostalgic uh, television programming. Um, uh, so it has me TV and heroes and icons and all that. Um, uh, and honestly, I watch a lot of KU band because of, because of the news channels. Uh, Cause I'll have the news on. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of news channels. And uh, so a lot of the news stuff is actually on KU band. And um, that's the weird part. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, news feeds too. So uh I was watching the, uh, not to get political, but in the States, they have this vote going on and they keep voting and voting. Uh, my friend was telling me uh, in, in um, that in, I don't know, we're not going to get too good politics, but um, uh, in uh, uh, Ireland, they've uh, had something like that where the government's been at a standstill for four years because of stuff like that. Um, but, uh, uh, oh, yeah, here's a comment I like. To switch switch topics, but I've been watching the <laughs> uh, the feed on eighty seven West. If you want to watch like the political stuff, like the live raw feed, eighty seven West has a bunch of those feeds, and okay. sometimes I'll just have that on just to watch it. And it's kind of fun to watch uh, behind the scenes instead of having like the commentary of it. Story TV rocks, says John. I get via antenna from a market that comes in uh, in uh, late at night. I prefer old school history. To the current one with the reality shows, yeah, I mean that, that's that's part of it too, eh? It's like, um, although I did see a show and I really liked it, was um, uh, the Toys That Built America, the Men That Built America. This that show on History Channel is awesome. Um, yeah. The uh, tycoons, of, I don't know, they have everything that built America. The food that fed, you know, the food of America and all that. That's a really yeah, good show on History Channel. The food that built America is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I watched it the other day and it was pretty good. That's an awesome show. And <clears throat> yeah, I think and, you can watch. And some of that content is free. Even if you just go to history.com, you can see it. They leave it yes, up a little while. Yes, they do while. have it online. Uh, you can find it online probably. Yeah, and it's free online. Author, uh, cited and all that. Their YouTube channel also. And uh, I think I have it in the, in the description of this video. If you need a VPN and you're in Canada, use ExpressVPN. I have a referral link in the description of this video uh, for maybe watching content where another thing we should talk about is uh, Bill C11, okay, which is a streaming bill and has a lot of concern for us um, how uh, C11, there's been uh, several petitions online to stop this bill. I, I'm saying the right bill, right? Someone will correct me in the comments. C11 what? is this bill... What have, have it's you, gonna be now? It's it? gonna require that you have all the all the bells and whistles of a real broadcaster to be able to. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want you to have like a sixty thousand dollar camera. 
No, like I, I mean, like uh, oh, they're still talking about that bill. I thought that got repelled. Well, it's a well, lot of public like opinion against it. It's them. about regulation. You're gonna you're gonna face the same regulation as broadcaster. Is what I meant to say. So Canada, Lamb of the. <laughs> I love the uh, the bill they're trying to pass to to ban airsoft guns. They're airsoft; they're not dangerous. Well, we won't get too much into guns here on YouTube. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, but um, <laughs> sorry for that. But YouTube will probably stand with me on this one, uh, from what I understand. This is one where uh, uh, they don't want to have this because then basically in Canada they're get well. In theory, it's supposed to be good for someone like me, a Canadian con, but I don't think it's going to help me. I don't me see neither. it helping me. It's not going to help. Like, um, it's it's going to give CEOs that work for the CBC that do nothing a raise. That's all it's going to do. Like, it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna help us. So, if I understand correctly, I have to pay royalties or something. No, it's more of a, a streaming act. So, like, uh, you you'll have to see Canadian content. Um, I'd, I'm not going to get into a whole, a whole lot of the details. What I would like to tell the audience to do is uh, uh, maybe look into it yourself. Uh, there's other people I've done videos about it that probably could explain it a lot better than me. So just do a search for Bill C11. And there'll probably be videos about it for more people who have more of a legal understanding of everything. Um, uh, but uh, definitely look into it. Another thing is like uh, I, we were doing a, on the on the forum here. Um, I don't know if Paul's going to join us. <clears throat> Uh, there's a petition to defund the CBC because I feel ripped off by the CBC because, uh, for well, example, uh, like a lot of us do, what happens is uh, in the CBC, we pay for it, but I don't get it over the air broadcast of CBC in my area. And I it's, do. You know, uh, I, I don't know. You don't? In many areas of Canada, we don't know. And uh, so why, should we, why should we pay for it? We have radio, but we don't have like the CBC TV. There's a big tower yes. down, like I can see outside my front window, but um, there's no uh, TV. So I don't think we're being represented. They're spending more money on their CEOs and all their managers at the CBC with their 106 figure salaries, but they're not building towers. They have a ton of managers, but no towers. They need towers and rebroadcast, but I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those, it's a shipping, it's a sinking ship and just let it sink. I don't know. I'm, I mean, Actually, in reality, who watches CBC? The only time well, ever... to be fair, their idea of it is they want you to download the Roku app. Like, if, there is an add on on the Roku where you yeah. can watch CBC. I don't want to stream though, I want to be able to get stuff. I, I like not having to hook everything up to the internet. I like my TV to be able to be, be able to. And what if there's an emergency? The power goes out and I'm uh, running everything on a backup system. The uh, uh, CJP stop. Oh, okay. You're in the private chat. Okay, I see what you're trying to say. Um, yeah. Anyway, so, um, anyway. I think you're from, you're forgetting something here. Uh, the CBC don't want to watch that. I can, I can agree. What I with think that. the CBC is uh, Radio, Radio Canada, we all watch that. So, well, one of the things that they were proposing was to get rid of the English CBC and keep the French CDPC. Right, which is uh, Red Radio Canada. <laughs> this is the sound of the government slapping English Canada in the face again. For not watching their propaganda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for not watching their propaganda, but it is a slap in my face. Like, look at my face is red. <laughs> I just want to do a message to uh, to Quebec. We don't want to speak French most of the time. We want to speak both language. What that's is fair. Like, you know, I, I think it's fair. You know what? Like, they should teach us in school how to speak Spanish because I mean, part of the world speaks Spanish. Like, more people, I, I think there's more people on this continent, continent that speak Spanish than French and English. And English. Yeah. I, if, if, I mean, if it goes this way, I'm going to start. No, uh, it's not, that's not Russian. that clear, you know. If you take South America and, Amer and North America together, I'm not sure. Uh, or um, there's not more people uh, speaking Spanish, you know. I, I honestly like. There's recently been a bill 
in Quebec that that uh, pushes more French than English. What do you mean? Oh, those are, are just facade. It's, it's, it's just. Uh, it, I mean, it, it, I think we're. Yeah. No, when when they talk about that, it's just, it's just lip servicing. It's never working. So uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, like Anyways. my solution for a state broadcaster is. And with satellite TV, it costs to uplink a channel on satellite, even on KU band satellite. It could be like five thousand to thirty thousand a month, uh, a month, thirty thousand dollars a month for it, a ten eighty p HD channel. Uh, That's Wolf will really want and he's chomping at the bit here. I'll let him in. All right, <laughs> Wolf's in there, and I'm coughing. But you gotta understand. Well, what would you like? What would you like to say? Yes. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. Hello. 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 Going once. Going twice. So. <laughs> uh, here's. He's gonna come. Up. He's gonna come. Up. Leave it back. Leo, I figure. Yeah, you. You. Uh, you speak Spanish. No big deal. Uh, yeah, I speak French. No big deal. <laughs> Yeah, good for you. Um, no, I mean, like, uh, yeah, I was like saying, like, if, if with, with Bill C11, if I wanted to be a refugee and like stream in another country, I looked at like, I was looking, looking at, like, uh, what, what about like uh, Argentina or someplace? It's, it's Spanish there, but uh, like, oh, damn, I wish I would. People, I was watching some of these uh, vloggers from Argentina and other countries like that, but they're very, uh, very Spanish country, but like on like, um, um, on, on a quarter of what I live off of, they live really good there. I'm like, maybe I should move to Argentina or someplace like that. Or you know what? I should I should probably, if I had the cash, I would probably move to the UK or something like that. Mm, not the best place right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not the easiest place, uh, Australia either. Sorry, it would either be the UK, Japan, or Poland. Japan, they don't want to see your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I will go to uh, to Japan, and uh, there are they're probably I'm probably gonna ask for their uh, world famous anime, and they're probably gonna be looking at me like pretty strange or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, the other, you know, the uh, not safe for work. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, but if you want to learn Spanish, uh, there's a lot of Spanish channel on C-Band. A lot of them. One of my friends. Yeah, lots of Spanish and C on the C -band stuff for that man. Although for sometimes that, the Portuguese channels do have the English. Uh, like if you go yeah, in the audio options, options, you get English. But you have Please stuff, tell like, me there's Telemundo. If you know, like Telemundo. Uh, Telemundo, is Telemundo is legendary. And when you watch... Uh, Back in the day, we had CNN and Espanol, uh, and it was kind of easy to understand a, a two-minute newsreel. So <laughs> they, it, it can work for you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, the interesting thing with Argentina, it interests me, and I was like looking at Argentina and Google Maps, but the vloggers said that Argentina sucks. Google Maps sucks in Argentina. They use other websites and stuff like that. Kind of like they have things, things are different there. And, but I looked at one of the satellite dishes and they have a giant KU band satellite dish. And it's like, you know, pointing at the, uh, I need a plate. I don't know. But anyway, it's like, like looks like flat, you know, aimed at the, because it's so far on the south, southern part of the hemisphere. <clears throat> so it, it, this is what the satellite nerd awkward? does. He goes on Google Maps in different areas of the world and looks at Google Maps and looks at the roof of houses to look at satellite dishes. <laughs> so I can see them like pointing straight up, like when they're when they live on the equator. You see all these C band dishes in like um, what um, Indonesia. Uh, it's it's common where they have C band satellite dishes pointed straight up. Imagine um, you're just watching nerds. TV on your satellite <laughs> dish and Robbie is just watching you it's just watching your roof to check the satellite dish <laughs> but the real nurse will check for, to see <coughs> if the satellite is he's aiming at by just watching the photo on it <laughs> so you check the photo okay he's in the sky right up but tilted this way so it's 
which satellite is it? <laughs> so, uh, no, uh, and if you check out uh, in Africa when they build themselves the, the the dish, those are really interesting to see. Uh, you're uh, you get you want the since your their dish is aimed upward, uh, they can build it without much care, you know. BBC, I mean, CBC, and Hillary, Hillary Clinton TV. <laughs> I have to let Brandon chat in here. Brandon's been one of uh, TN's fish keeper. He's been one of my longest supporters uh, on YouTube. See, it's Hillary TV. Is that a real he, thing? Well, um, I think when he's saying see. Hillary TV, he's referring to CNN oh. because they're very oh, pro. Yeah. The Hillary Network. Clinton. Clinton News Network. Wow. Yeah. 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 Hillary T. Hillary Clinton, creator of uh, Pizzagate. We're not going to say more. Capital, capitalism News Network. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be the hard thing with like, well, uh, Spanish, the different Spanish dialects. But I mean, if you want to come to Canada and learn how to speak English, if you come to the Ottawa Valley, eh, you have like people looking at you talking like this. Hey, I'm from the Ottawa oh Valley. <laughs> And it's if, like if you learn French and come to Quebec, you're lost. You're still lost. <laughs> so if you come to my little town, Canada, all. if you come to, uh, to my little yeah, town, yeah, I think course, everywhere has these different dialects. Like they have their versions of their language, and it's yeah, it's like that everywhere. That's why I like satellite TV, though, is you'll you'll watch people talk in different languages. I'm, I'm kind of a nerd for that. Like I I, I like seeing. Um, on Galaxy 19, you see the international programming, but you see like the way people talk to each other, and they're very expressive, and they move their arms, and <laughs> and these are not even French people. <laughs> these are like you know like different areas. It of reminds the world. me uh, <laughs> of a video I watched like a few years ago, where it's like a guy, uh, where it's like a Spanish guy with a mustache talking, but they remove his talk, so you only hear him breathing. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> you see him like banging like that. It's uh, it's hilarious. He, 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 they oh, they cut out the the speaking parts and they only put like him breathing. It's it's really hilarious. I like what I would prefer like dubbed. I, I really like dubbed. Like um, what we used to see on uh, Galaxy Nineteen is there are a lot of shows that had dubbing and uh, RT, which was they're no longer on satellite. Um, yeah, I, I wonder why. Well, I think the documentary channel is well. They're on Rumble. I guess I don't know if I should say that, but uh, they're they're on Rumble and places like that on their website. But um, uh, RT when they were on satellite uh, back in like two thousand, the early two thousands, when I first started getting satellite, they would have like um, the newscast would be dubbed. So like dubbed, they'd be shot in Russian and they would dub into English. <laughs> and it kind of looked sound funny. Another channel that was famous for that, it still streams. It's called EBRU TV. They're a good channel. On, they're a good channel that were, were on um, Galaxy 19 and they went away. They're, I think they're still existing streaming. I'm not sure. I'll have a look up. I don't like that because when you speak both languages, it's kind of uh, disconcerting, you know? So, dubbing, I prefer subtitles than dubbing. Um, I don't know if that's it. They might have rebranded their logo live stream, so I imagine they would have that. And there's an ad go away. So, you didn't fill up your uh, green screen, yeah. <laughs> okay? Well, I'll show you here quickly. So, this is like a channel that, that's yours. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> right, is that a, a little sneak uh, peek on your new video, Robbie? No, that's uh, Patrick's that's channel. Oh, so okay. this is a channel. Oh, this, this is the EBRU, oh. though. It's like uh, for um, Kenya. Mm -hmm. It was always like um, some other. I don't know if I found the right one. There is. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. I, I thought that EB. Where the where's the logo? I thought that would that said something else. Oh uh, no. Anyway, that was a channel. I don't know if that's the actual one, but uh they, they do are streaming now. They were a channel that had lots of uh 
programming, like British programming and stuff like that on uh, Galaxy 19. Now they're gone, though. Mm. In fact, there's so many channels from uh, all over the world, and we move. Uh, sometimes it goes encrypted and all, and all that. Sometimes not. So it's a uh, I think you use this word. It's called serendipity effect. You got a. One person says if you want to track track CNN, um, there is the feeds over on eighty seven West. I actually like the feeds for CNN because uh, you get like a lot of the um, behind the scenes stuff um, over on. It's actually not CNN, but it's like their sourced feeds. Mm -hmm. We don't. They don't do that much uh, anymore because they went encrypted, you know. So and when it's not encrypted, it's going uh, through fiber optics. So uh, we don't. We don't <laughs> unfortunately, we cannot watch behind the propaganda anymore. Anyway, here is a this is a good question. I don't know this question. What kind of TV do they have in Greenland? I don't That's know, actually I a really remember. good question. What do you, What do you mean by that? Why? Why would it? I, I'll it? Google it for you. <laughs> if they still have analog TV, I'm moving there. <laughs> I like this. Um, I like how they have people ask, "Do they have TV in Greenland?" Well, <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> Yeah, they do have like a TV yeah, but there's no image. <laughs> do they have internet in Greenland? Yes, they did. Like last year, they got internet. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see too many shows from Greenland, but do they have cars yeah. in Greenland? <laughs> uh, there's, I don't know. There's telecommunications in Greenland, so it probably would have like the. Uh, um, they will have the CBC. <laughs> I love that one of there, the. There's uh, a building that's covered in snow, so it may not be working right now. The satellite's covered in snow. I love how somebody's saying, like, uh, ice fishing uh, 24 7 channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think they would have satellite, but <clears throat> I don't know what they do. Well, they have the trans transmissions were NTSC, which is like the North American. <clears throat> uh, isn't Greenland part of Canada? Or they have I the Armed Forces wrong? Network. Maybe you get that like over. Uh, so here you go over that. Oh, uh, EFN, EFN, EFN is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's everywhere around the world, except it's encrypted. It's encrypted <laughs> over us, but then it's in the clear in different parts of the world. Uh, <laughs> okay. Or it was. I don't know if it is now. So there's. As of 2002, there was like 30,000 television set and like 30,000 radios. Hmm. There's not a huge population in Greenland either. So, yeah. uh, Brady asks, What do you I think of Starlink internet? Um, I think it's a good thing for uh, people who live way out in rural areas. <laughs> I think um, that low earth satellite technology, I think that could be like a good, uh, an interesting way to like uh, for. Um, uh, for cell phone technology too, instead of having towers, you could have low Earth satellites, right? And uh, and have satellite phones. Um, um, but I don't know. <clears throat> I don't need it myself. Like I have uh, cable internet. I live in a in a larger town. It's a city, but it's a small city, but a big town. Um, and uh, but uh, I'm you know, many to who did have a Starlink, and I can tell you that in general, it's a matter of uh, reliability. Uh, yeah, you, you, it would work for you because you were almost in the cusp of getting it with, with, until they got the upgraded your internet. Right around the same time, Starlink came and became available. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the problem with Starlink sometimes doesn't work, and people, when they want higher speed, it's because they're going to work with it. Uh, and when you cannot make your Zoom call because it's too snowy, uh, too much wind, or whatever, uh, it's, it's fast. But sometimes it does. I see it, a lot. It, it I, does, it's not fast at all. It's not moving at all. So 
I, I see a lot of people doing really bad installs with their like I'm on one of the I'll starting show. forums and they yeah. put the dishy thing, the dishy antenna, that's what it's called, mm-hmm. just on the ground. That's like I would at least uh well it's just like the wind's gonna knock it over and and all that and then just the elements where i would try to at least get it up on the roof and have it installed like with not, get a proper mounted install install on it and but also maybe not make it too high that you can't reach with a broom because if snow's gonna fall on it just to clear it off and moreover uh you're uh if you're putting it high great but you gotta understand, most of the people that are actually client for uh, for the service are in the woods, and most of the, the time their cottage are are surrounded by big uh, big trees. So there's not much of the sky they can see. So even if it's high, it's gotta be higher than the trees to see more sad. And if don't see any, if don't see if the dish doesn't see much of the satellite that they are available, their speed's gonna go down, and they will not have much reality on their signal. So it's not. It seems easy to install, but the situation, the the area you can put it are not. That's not easy to find. You know? Just trying oh, to throw that's why thing, you know, this happened to your like, Starlink dish. I'm uh, just trying to show my. But I clicked it. Eh? Uh, all right. uh, I wish I have a dish. Can't, like can't get on the that. Starlink dish. Oh, the Starlink got <laughs> I heard. <laughs> they, they Put your cat the on it. Remove the snow. So. <laughs> so that's why cats do love them, obviously. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a good idea sometimes to eat that, but the dish got to move, so... uh, Yeah, it's got to move, so, like, it's going to break. And how many of these little motors inside the, uh, you know, these uh, these antennas are going to end up breaking if they're they're, they're a constantly moving motor to track uh, the satellite signal? So, uh, it's an interesting... I, I, who, who knows how long it'll be around for and how long it'll serve. I mean, I think it has, like, a lot of really good applications, with it, um, there was people saying that it was going to cause interference. I, I haven't seen any interference. Uh, there's this uh, about this the interference stuff and lawsuit uh, on Starling. Uh, this network is. Uh, I, I'm not sure what happened to the lawsuit, but uh, there was a lawsuit about uh, uh, Starling making interference. Now, if they're using the K circular KU band, I'm okay with that because I don't. It doesn't really affect me. If they're using linear yeah, key, key band, I want I want the key band in circular. Is it circular? Oh. Uh, Dish network circular key band, and so is Bell. Oh, okay. And Hooray, they, 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 they use a slightly higher frequency, and it does allow them to have a slightly smaller dish for like Bell, and for uh, Dish network. Um, I not too, probably Direct TV as well. By the way, Shaw the Direct and, and Shaw Direct uses um, uh, hmm? linear K. It's more like a linear K U band frequencies. Oh, okay. And the Starlink dish is not actually moving to to keep it with the with the set. It's just to adjust itself uh, the first time you put it on on a location, and afterward it's uh, it's kind of signal bandy. Bending, oh, okay, I, I wasn't sure if it was constant lead no. moving or it just moves for the uh, setup process. It, yeah, yeah, for the setup process, and afterward, it's a matter of beam forming. They call it beam forming. So what they do is actually making it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's an array, an honeycomb uh, array of uh, of uh, antennas inside. And they make uh, interference crossing and stuff like that. They call it beam farming, so that they can see one place over another. So they are gonna track it electro- electronically. I will put it that way. So what are you showing right now? I'm showing your video editing setup, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just messing uh, with uh, some layers of uh, of. Uh, 
of effects I'm doing right now for uh, a show I'm building. We, we see Kurt's camera showing up on uh, in the video here. Well, it was on there for a second. <clears throat> I, I wasn't hearing your audio, Kurt. Nothing more inter much interesting because interesting it's not rendered right now. I'm working on it. But uh, I try now, I just need to hide his face more because it's supposed to be, a, to be a dead person. So it's just, she kind of looked too cute for now. <laughs> so, uh, st there's still work on this. <laughs> So uh, if people are wondering, I'm using a Media Composer as a software, and I'm well versed on, on this. And it's a big as application with that we can do a lot of work, as you can see right now. This is a timeline full of a uh, of video uh, I'm editing in. So is this I the video that came up before, or is this another one? Oh, that's the same application. Uh, same video, what you were talking about again? Sorry, uh, well, you had the movie. horror movie that you guys yeah. did. I'm making an extended version of the last episode because we the, the video was too, uh, was, not the video, the film was too long. So we switched to uh, the narrative and the editing to make it a yeah. mini series of uh, six episodes. And yeah, the last lots episode. It's yeah, a lot of a lot of movies are like that. Like they're so long, they end up um, either they make them into miniseries or they. <laughs> um, yeah. um, what one was uh, what I'm discovering? There's a lot of footage to. Uh, I'm I'm on this group because I'm a big fan of John Candy, and there's this John Candy uh, Facebook group, and they posted. It was kind of interesting. Some of the deleted scenes that I'd never seen before, because like planes, <laughs> trains, and automobiles was like three hours long. And they cut it down to like, and they cut out a bunch of scenes um, with the movie Plenty Church Automobiles with uh, um, John Candy and Steve Martin. And it is a classic, but it is kind of cool to see. Um, even since, since John Candy's passed away, um, just to be able to see some of his um, deleted work that we never saw, you know, I, I think that's really cool. That's good because we can see by you that how he's working and yeah, it, it, it would be kind of like I'm a big Back to the Future fan, and it would be interesting to see a cut. A lot of Back to the Future fans like with uh, uh, what's his name, Eric Stoltz, who was originally hired uh to play Marty McFly before mm -hmm. they got okay, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. Michael J. Fox. And so the interesting thing is they shot most of the movie with Eric Stoltz. And, they it. <laughs> and then they reshot a lot of the scenes with Michael J. Fox. And then I think what they did was a, a lot of the scenes with the other actors, they shot that um um they shot like when they knew they were gonna fire him and get Michael J. Fox, they started shooting all the scenes with the other actors and had Eric Stoltz in a wide shot in wider shots and all that. And then they ended up uh re reshooting, but they used a lot of footage from when they first started shooting. And, and if uh, it, they if they did keep the uh the first actor instead, it will be it will have been a, a darker uh, movie, I think. It would have been a darker movie, yeah. He took it more I, seriously. I don't see, as, like, I don't see the guys uh, uh, delivering the same way. Uh, no, he, it had know. a different delivery, but it would be interesting to see it, like to see the deleted scenes and all that. And I don't know if um, mm -hmm. I haven't uh, heard of it, like Eric Stoltz is like bitter about it or whatever. Uh, I know the uh, the actor who played Marty McFly's father. He um, was quite upset because uh, the ending of the movie, he did not like the fact that uh, he got, you know, he was wealthy, like uh, his future, he got it, gave him wealth. And he didn't like that the message was that he has wealth and he buys Marty uh, a truck and uh, they, they have a better, happier, wealthier life. I guess he didn't like the message in of, of the original back. And he wasn't the uh, actor in the sequel, it was like another guy playing him, but a lot of people thought it was him uh, oh, I in, in the know, sequel. Yeah, a lot of people know. didn't know that. Oh, okay. Huh. At least uh, it's good. It's been, uh, it worked. For yeah. sure it worked. As a movie, it worked. So, uh, Kevin, you have your what? You have your wife in the background there. I see the head. 
the yeah. head behind you. <laughs> <laughs> she put she, 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 she doesn't want. What's that? Want to talk Sorry, to me. Kid, yeah. She, she doesn't she, want to she, talk to you, so like she's in the corner there. She's like <laughs> snubbing you. She's just like. <laughs> I think you have a head like that too, also, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to. You know, I, I, I what, what up, lonely uh, oh. at night when there's no day? You know, I, I take the head. At night. <laughs> my, I have you my know. daughter uh, plays around with this a lot. Get, if I can get up, I don't know what she did to the head. <laughs> here comes, here comes. <laughs> oh, here comes the head. I don't know. She, I don't know what she's done. I think she tried to do like. Princess Leia buns on it or something. I don't know. I thought my at first played, it was Chun Li. This is like my, my daughter plays with this thing a lot. <laughs> so I'm the I'm the only one without a head here. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Patrick a head. Yeah. The dollar store. And they don't have them at the dollar store anymore. Wait a minute, man. Let me, let me see if she wants to talk to me. <laughs> you want to talk to me. <laughs> You're getting the silent treatment. <laughs> well, yeah, she kind of stuck up here. <laughs> you, uh, wait a minute. Uh, what, what can I do to get her attention? Uh, uh pick her up. <laughs> I'll do that. Oh Bring her to you. <laughs> they want. If they want to be a woman. Wants to be pursued by a man. <laughs> they won't be going after you. Well, maybe some of them will, but they're, they're, they're usually the crazy ones. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I have like the perfect, uh, perfect uh, thing. Patrick's got his cat. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of more lively, you know. <laughs> she's a Cana She's a Canadian cowgirl on the, yeah. on the cowgirl channel. <laughs> no. Uh... Okay, uh, move on, dude. <laughs> I think we're losing all of our viewers. We lost like 10 viewers just in the last few minutes here. <laughs> you know, there she is. She's still the camera is there, me. buddy. <laughs> You're not looking at the right place. There. Look there. You yeah. can't get animals. <clears throat> animals and a uh, camera, it's never work. <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. It would be a nightmare. I, I imagine it would be a nightmare for the show The Littlest Hobo when they made that to get the dog to like be smarter than all the humans in the show I don't know where to put her <laughs> oh the little hobo okay yeah go there I, I, it didn't ring a bell at first uh, you know I, I, maybe I, tomorrow I wanna yeah, settle down I'm not gonna until go. tomorrow I'll just keep moving on oh, there man, you go man. she keeps on calling me I think yeah, I was 14 it. back in the day. I was yeah. little. I was a kid when that show was on. So like yeah. it was like something I watched <clears throat> when I was really young, but I was a kid, right? It was a show about dog. I showed my kids. Is, uh, I, I showed I my saw, kids that show. I saw the uh, I saw the shooting of it uh, just a bit. I was in Vancouver uh, uh, in that time and the shoot they were shooting it, I think. I no, don't remember where exactly. But they told me that well, I was young, but they told me that was the shooting of this. And the little hobo. I didn't know what it was at first. The dog <laughs> London. Is anyone still watching? Is anyone here watching that remember that show? You need cats on your video. <laughs> it get you, uh, it, it, if you don't know what we're talking about, the little hobo. Do a YouTube YouTube it. It is classic. There's probably an episode on YouTube with Leslie Nielsen. There's probably an episode on YouTube with Mike Myers before he was famous. Nielsen <laughs> was in that. Is it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He, he was like an early. I don't think Keanu was in it. That'd be awesome if Keanu <laughs> was in it. He was in early Canadian TV shows. Because it's re it's really a, a classic Canadian television. Oh yeah, right? yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> it's like your typical. Uh, yeah. Um, Ray, Ryan, says beach, Ryan says beach. Ryan says beachcombers was better. Uh, I, I I personally found that I uh, because I'm probably because I was younger at the time I got Lil's Hobo better, but I have watched beachcombers. It used to be. When, when I had the Shaw, the APTN, if that channel, if I said that right, 
uh, was um, it, it would show beachcombers, and that was kind of cool to see that uh, in the afternoon. No, I never heard of beachcomber. I was no, BBO. oh, it was like a show about it was like out in uh, British Columbia, and it had guys driving around in boats, uh, <laughs> pulling logs out of the water. I, I guess. Oh. <laughs> They call it Beachcomber? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it was like a classic Canadian TV show. Like, if you talk to Canadians about Canadian TV, because I was like, <laughs> we had this we had this stuff jammed down our throats and, because we didn't get all the American channels. We didn't get the little the new Leave it to Beaver. We got the Beachcombers. And we, got, <laughs> we got the Wish version of American television. Yes, we got, we got, we got the Wish version, the dollar store version of, <laughs> of, of American TV. Yeah, remember back in the day, uh, there were uh, ENG. Remember the show, uh, ENG? Oh, I do. I remember ENG. Actually, it was like about media news, uh, a show about new, a news company or whatever. Yeah, they never uh, did any DVD release. They never did show anything at all uh, afterward. So I miss. Yeah, it. some uh, some Canadian TV shows they like get totally lost. I know, like I, I heard. I heard a great story from Kevin Smith, who's an American, but he's like a fan of he's a he was a huge fan of um, the Drassy Junior High and the kids of the Drassy Street and the Drassy High, like the original one from the '80s. And uh, he he when he, I guess what Kevin Smith he did he talked about this when he was on with Chris Jericho on the Chris Jericho podcast. He talked about how he bought uh, all these episodes, like when he made his money from uh, Clerks. Uh, so he got a big check. What he, what he spent on that money on was a box of from Scholastic for of like this whole uh, dra, dra, Degrassi Junior High because I guess he was in Canada um, in, for film school and saw it on TV and wanted to get the whole set. And he got like a box from Scholastic and they didn't want to sell it to him. It was like bugging them for a long time to try to get like a, a whole box uh, of uh the drastic junior high and he said he got it and like not, there weren't even box like they're recorded off tv you know like it, it was what he got but he got every episode of the of the grassy the grassy junior high i wish he would digitize it and put it on youtube mm. unless they'd remove it i don't know I, he, he might he might be the kevin smith the guy who made clerks and like jay and silent bob he might be the only guy that has um the whole Degrassi Junior High collection would he bought with his clerk's money. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, on like VHS, probably. Yeah, and they were on VHS. Like they, 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 It was probably when DVD came out, but they were like all, all on VHS. Just like James <laughs> Rolfe just said once, say yes to VHS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I agree with the uh, angry video game nerd on, on that, yeah. Speaking of American TV, do you guys ever watch any uh, PBS, any master, Masterpiece Theater or anything like that? Last time I watched PBS was when I was like seven. Oh, I watched yeah. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood on PBS. And on Sunday mornings on WPBS, they do show uh, classic uh, Mr. Rogers episodes. Oh, that. yeah. At seven p.m. or seven a.m. in the morning, they'll show uh, Mister Rogers' Neighborhood. I used to, uh, when I was a kid, before I go to school, I would actually turn on the TV and go to PBS and actually watch Mister Rogers. Uh, oh, you did watch that? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm yeah. trying to think of what else I watch. I watch sometimes. That, I watch Nova. That Sundays at seven a.m. Is it? Yeah, yeah, on WPB, and you, you should be able to pick up WPBS at a Watertown. And are you able to get that where you're at? Well, I get I get the one out of Syracuse. I get WCNY. Okay, uh, I can't pick up that one, but I can pick up PBS, WPBS. But I, I, it might be the same thing. I'm not sure because it's like yeah, you know, see, same... if, see if it's a national feed or not. Yeah, yeah. Does anybody? Uh, I remember as a kid. Uh, watching a show on PBS, it was kind of like a Sesame Street clone, basically. Like, on but it PBS was like itself. they made a clone on PBS itself because Sesame Street was on. Um, yeah, PBS. I remember watching that also on uh, PBS. But there was another <laughs> show that was kind of similar, but instead it was instead of monsters it was like uh, lions. I like, and Steve's, it wasn't uh, like Zoki's. in a library. Saturday night at the movies on TV Ontario 
was uh, was the original. I don't know what he's talking about, but it was the original. But I do remember watching that. And they would have some good movies on, like Saturday Night, the movies on TVO, TV Ontario. <coughs> I'm going to try to yeah. search for it. You were talking what? about CBC. Uh, actually, CBC should become a PBS. Uh, in the yeah, way they that, that's see, the thing that angers me about the CBC is PBS uses the amount of money PBS uses, and they have a lot more broadcast TV stations, and they actually do it with less money than what the billion, one point three billion dollars of taxpayer funded money that the PB that and cable retransmission fees that they make off off of the consumer. So like, yeah, they make money off cable retransmissions, and they make money off ads. I yeah. I have to uh, to interrupt just one here. Just uh, one second. Somebody uh, saw. Uh, somebody uh, put into the chat the electric company. I actually remember watching that show. Oh, the three D uh, demonstration, the three D demo. Is it what you were talking about? No, the no. the kid show. From oh, okay. the shows I was watching as a kid. Somebody mentioned the electric company. I actually remember watching that. Yeah, I'm trying but, to. Um, on PBS, oh, I think I, I tend to watch documentaries whenever I do watch PBS, and it all depends on if it's a documentary that I find that's interesting. Uh, and as as of recently, I guess when I do put it on, it's usually not a documentary that I find interesting. It's political propaganda that I don't care about. <laughs> I found the show that I was talking about. It's called Between the Lions. That's the okay. show. I, what was that show? Uh, it sounds familiar. It was a puppet show, though, but it took place there was lions but they uh i think it was made by the same people <clears throat> man i haven't like seen lions much. between between the lions like a like, like a lion tiger bear like type thing it's a player as i remember it was like lions oh here like i got, got, it, got it got it here i got it here up on the there's clips of it on youtube there's even chapters and all that. <clears throat> yep, that is the show I remember. I don't remember that at all. Maybe I used was... to watch it on PBS. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're and a bit younger the... than me, and I may have missed that one like when it was on, because there was like yeah. you know, times that... I remember <laughs> when... Oh, there was also... I remember like uh, uh, days when I was sick, I would actually watch PBS all day. I think day. Kurt dropped off, but he's back now. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I actually that. watched TV, TV Ontario or um, uh, TV Ontario. Ontario or some, some yeah, there's reason. a French TV Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. It's TFO. Yeah. TFO and, uh, yeah. And it was weird because on Sunday, the TV Ontario had French programming. <laughs> and then on uh, Sunday on TFO, they had English programming. I used to, but I don't think they, they do that anymore. But at one time they did. One time they were okay. They were on the same channel. Okay. So it was Actually, made by, oh, CBC sorry. did that uh, in the first days of the of the CBC. They did that, and it, it didn't work. Uh, well, yeah, CBC I, has been around for a long time. Like they were Radio Canada was around in like what the nineteen twenties before the war. Like they were like radio broadcasters, mm -hmm. um, and then. Um, uh, here in Kingston, there's a radio station, and they had to get their license to broadcast from the Canadian Fish Fishery Ministry. I don't know why the Fishery Ministry handled radio licenses, but like that was the early day of radio in Canada, right? You went to the Fish Ministry. Uh, well, they, so, yeah. it, sound, it sounds oh, fishy. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's so fishy in Canada. <laughs> Any of you guys oh, ever watch why? The Nature of Things? Why is somebody uh, yeah. saying... I used you... to watch Nature of Things. There's somebody I in actually, the chat. I actually had a little Suzuki Swift that I used to drive, and I nicknamed it David. <laughs> There's somebody in the chat that says it would be way harder to read between the lions. Um, There's sometimes... I don't know. Sometimes I don't get some of the comments. I, my car, I, I have a uh, my van, my little van. Back on on topic, my I have my uh, my mother's van. I call it the garbage truck. 
It's such a bad van. Yeah. Is it one of what? What? what, what uh, is it? Uh, Dodge or Ford or uh... a Dodge uh, Caravan, like the 2011 ones, the ones that oh, are okay. not reliable. Oh, at really? All. Uh, yeah. Like there's a there's a cardboard guy that made a a comment here that seems uh, interesting. He said, uh, "Direct TV is a mix of KU and KA." Their main 101 location is the content used the same L and B as Dish and Bell. However, the 99 and 903 Diffy Diffy satellite use the <laughs> then so not sure. I use both modulation is what I was saying. I'm not sure. Uh uh when I was talking about Radio Shack last week, we were kind of went on about how um it first started as direct TV and then there is a, a satellite TV service um, that was around uh, TV. What was it called? The UC TV or something like that it was one of the first satellite subscription services. And it was at the Radio Shack catalog that I was going over last week. <clears throat> yeah. Then direct TV bought them out. Yeah, they, they became, um, yeah, it was kind of, yeah, how it all became, what it became. Um, I don't know if Bell owned uh, Express View when it first launched or if they had a stake in it because it, it kind of felt like it was like an independent, separate from uh, them and them. I don't know. Yeah, you can um, take Zoom as an example. When Dish bought Zoom, Zoom was using. Uh, he uh, was not using circular uh, modulation, so it depends on what you're acquiring. Uh, in fact, so. I still have an Uma. Yeah, that's what I use for a phone. Is Uma? That, you're I'm not alone, Robbie. That's Zoom, what I use too. The Zoom receiver yeah. that looked like uh, that 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 was the DSR 505. Uh, it was uh, it's exactly what uh, Shadrach used. Uh, for HD channel uh, some time ago. So there is, in fact, they're, they're all over the place. When they when a company bought, bought another, they don't have the same technology. So uh, things can, 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 can get complicated. So we say uh, this network is on circular uh, polarization. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on what they bought. <laughs> <sighs> See what's <Yeah>. uh, <clears throat> any comments? Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, some people are talking about getting a uh, off grid. It's kind of hard to go uh, off grid the other day. There's a fun YouTube channel called Creature Features. It's a lot of old scary movies for free. There is a lot of movies on YouTube, uh, and I think people own the rights to them. They'll post they'll, they'll post them on YouTube because there's a you know wherever you need to be made. What's this? Uh, something Brad Brady saying. I have two of them. Also, uh, also going to the business one real soon. Oh, the business. Okay. I thought I misread that, Brady. I thought you were talking about Uma going out of business. I'm like, oh, crap. I'll have to. No, Uma has a business it. one business uh, class, too. Yep. Yeah. I misread that. I thought, oh, no, they're going out of business. <laughs> it's like cell phones in Canada. Like, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to switch uh, providers from where I'm at right now. Cause, like, <clears throat> even though I pay a little bit more now, I'm still paying a lot less with pay as you go than <clears throat> what with a plan fizz a great as a fizz has a great plan that it's kind of cheap you know fizz i don't know if we have that in ontario this is a well you probably don't because it's a sub jury of a video term. yeah it's, no. it's the cheap <clears throat> no it's, uh, video term. in canada <clears throat> we pay so much uh for uh for cell phones here in the third world they all have cell phones yet they live off what a canadian pays a month for a cell phone so i how do you how does that work <laughs> yeah 
and you see those when they're newcomers here and they get to the they, they get here and they all have cell phones uh, cell phones and uh and just thought to myself god if they have so much money why are they coming here <laughs> But it's, it's not the right understanding. We pay too much. You know, stuff like that. But and the provider tell us that uh, we, we gotta put a lot of antennas. Canada is gr- is a great uh, big country, and there's a lot of. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, we have to pay uh, for yeah, the infrastructure. Oh God, a lot. Yeah, and right. the kind, we have to pay for true, everything. But, it's kind of it's they're not they're not misleading that much, but those investments have been done a long time ago. So, well, it's also they when they install the towers, they have to get money to the investment uh, the investors. So here uh, we we have um, an antenna, and when we lost the electricity. It took 16 hours of batteries, and we lost the cellular phone. Oh, so, yeah, that happened. That You know what happened around here in Kingston uh, with that weather storm is um, the power went out on Wolf Island. There's an island across from Kingston. That's where, like, the broadcast towers are. So the power was knocked out in the island, and so the over-the-air broadcast was off the air during the windstorm. And uh, several radio stations, local radio stations, were off it. Were off the air. Uh, okay. I guess a good time for a pirate radio station to throw their. <laughs> 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 uh, one of the things we can see. <laughs> you should have to, to, to get audience here. <laughs> That's a good idea, in fact. <laughs> and uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, they were off the air for for. Uh, couple days i guess over the weekend anyway and they probably didn't realize they're off the air it's like well, maybe they eventually they got a call hey we're off the air i don't know that's that, yeah. that could be so insulting to uh to for the people that are live on the air and they are talking to themselves <laughs> uh when you learn that you're talking to themselves for two hours you, it would be so discouraging you know uh, i've known but, of um I was talking with a friend, so I uh, I do live streaming at my church where I set up like a kind of like this, like a, a stream for the church services. So I was talking to another guy. He does a another church in town. He's a nice, very nice man, minister and all that. But he doesn't, you know, he he just has a tablet, sets it up, and streams like that, and the audio is awful. And um, and he forgets sometimes to even turn it on sometimes. So he sets it up and he forgets to turn it on and forgets to stream his service and all this. <laughs> so Pirate Radio is but it, it's it's like but podcasting in fact. There's some similarity there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like broadcasting or yeah, I mean like uh, with a with a church service, like I guess I get as about as many as I get on this stream here too. It's like uh, uh, maybe 15 to 20 people. Well, because people like if they're sick, sick, they stay home and uh, they'll just watch the service from home or whatever. And I think there's a lot of people after the pandemic, too. They just stayed home, you know, and they are afraid to go out. <clears throat> the pandemic make uh, Zoom. Uh, make, make, we, we, uh, we, we were make actually Zoom, using Zoom. Zoom <clears throat> yeah, we were doing like all our services for, with Zoom during like the. The, the lockdown part, <clears throat> like all during all these lockdowns. And so, you yeah. make me think of something. You know that Skype is done right now. They shut it down. Really? Yeah, they shut down the Skype. In fact, because I heard about. I didn't that even realize already. Skype. I didn't realize Skype was over. Yeah. yeah it was like. Over, it was kind of like when Yahoo died. I would use Skype. That's kind of I, I did not realize that. There's a whole documentary on that situation uh, that oh, yeah. was produced for, on YouTube. I don't remember. Yeah, it's probably on YouTube. Who exactly, but there's a real uh, complex story behind Skype uh, acquisition by Microsoft oh, and man. why and what was the use of Bunny because a lot of media, a lot of media, they have like they're set up to do Skype, right? Yeah, they were, were, and they pass. They they went to Zoom. In fact, uh, nowadays they went to Zoom. And, yeah, does Microsoft own Zoom? Make, 
the pandemic changed everything. Uh, it's because of the pandemic that they switched to Zoom, in fact. Yeah, well, I'm looking at, uh, yeah, there's this must be the documentary uh, here, Skype Business Shut Down, but it was Microsoft's best accusation. I don't know, yeah, so. Is Skype still around? Well, I guess they just recently yeah. shut it down. Yeah, it's what I'm telling you. <laughs> no I more Skype. Gonna... Oh, man. So, because the problem with Skype is that it was not you know, perfect, and it was not able, they were not able to integrate it to many uh, different platforms, like they say. So yeah, but a lot it, of a lot of interviews were conducted through Skype. Although I guess you could use I don't like to say restream because restream I I'm, I'm uh, I have this hate and like a little bit <laughs> relationship with restream. Yeah, we're on it. <laughs> we're using it what i do like about it is this works nice and fluid this multi-call thing of uh and being able to bring up the text and all that but okay. my green screen doesn't work anymore it did before on the same computer same operating system it just stopped working but you do you feed restream with obs obs or? no it won't it, it, i have to pay the pre the real premium expensive version to be able to, to use that. obs and put my obs feed on here and then have do everything integrate everything through obs which would work so, a lot better because it, it would work a lot so better what's your setup? you're getting uh restream and you're using obs to to stream over facebook and youtube uh, yeah uh steve just said that he just had his friend call him on skype i don't get uh i'm i told what i was told by by credible yeah. sources but uh I don't have it in my. I, I used to have it installed on my computer. The reason why I was a big Skype fan is when I converted over to Linux, it worked really nicely in Linux. That was before Microsoft bought it, and then it went downhill. It used to be yeah. like you can um, uh, now, like I can do, I can do this. I, I Discord, and it's all about Discord. Baby. <laughs> the engine of Skype, let put it that way, like it was a, a game. I meant to say the technology behind Skype is actually using their in their uh, solution for streaming for business. Uh, I think it's called Microsoft 360 or inside Microsoft 360. There's a there's conferencing uh, solution. That, uh, yeah, so well, the, in my the, Hotmail account, I can still use Skype. I think I had my Skype account connected. But then when it, Microsoft acquired it and made, sort of integrated mm -hmm. my Skype account with my uh, at Microsoft account, okay. uh, and I'm not sure if it worked. It didn't integrate very nicely. Like I think I had to create a new Skype, and I lost all my contacts that I had from before on Skype. I don't know. Uh, who, I, know who, I don't oh, know a whole lot of people. I remember what's the problem actually uh, that they were talking about in the show, in the show I saw on YouTube. The fact is is that uh, Skype was using peer to peer communication at first, so they they tried Microsoft to switch off technology to make it uh, scalable, like uh, the programmer will tell you. So it's it's like. Their lack of scalability and integration or in other <laughs> solution or in other Microsoft solutions, that was actually the problem. So when Microsoft paid uh, eight billions for that, eight point three billion for that, uh, we were all asking what the hell they were doing. So uh, well, my, that, didn't make any so sense three before. Well, yeah. so for three. So I think they just bought their. They, uh, they are positioned their conference. <laughs> yeah. Well, they think they wanted to buy where everyone was on because no one was using MSN Messenger. They had MSN Messenger at the time yeah. and it was popular yeah. at one point. MSN Messenger. Yeah, I was remember popular. using that. <clears throat> but I think oh, what I happened really? was they were losing. I think Skype was better, worked better. So people were switching over to Skype. I think I was one of them. Like I could use uh, Skype and Linux. Skype was good on, on low bandwidth. So that's. It, it was an improvement from uh, going from MSN Messenger chats with the webcams yeah. that they had at that time. This is like, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Well, 15 years mm -hmm. ago or so now. Um, and, um, you know, video quality was not as good as what it is now. So, um, yeah. Uh, and then um, 
I don't know. It's just one of those things when a big corporation buys somebody else and they have the same product, but they want to buy the product that uh, everyone's using. It's like Google had Google Video, but they bought YouTube because YouTube for billions of dollars because everyone was using YouTube. YouTube is really right. popular even back. Like I was using YouTube since like their early days, 2006. I think I found uh, I think one of the first videos I watched was the angry video game nerd when he reviewed the Atari 5200. If <laughs> There's I think there's other <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then I had my own videos. I used to have my own website and I had to pay for hosting and all that. And but it was so much cheaper to put a video on YouTube. And then I got out of video for like uh over 10 years. I was like not even do making videos anymore. I and then I got back into it. Uh, now, uh, gotta remember uh, the first days of uh, of YouTube was uh, people were sh shooting their video on VHS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I upload videos that were shot on VHS. Like that's the quality. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you can look, click on a tab for the oldest videos. I have videos there, and the video quality is awful. But it's like you can see, like, uh, like one, maybe one of my. Killer Bloom of Rabies videos or something like that, like little comedy skits that I made. Um, but actually, I shot it on Digital 8. So it was a little bit better quality at the time than uh, VHS. Digital it was the high, yeah. Yeah, high, the high 8 tapes that shot on digital. And that was like a big, at the time, it was a, a big jump in quality from VHS or oh, Super sure. VHS. Because I was shooting mm -hmm. on Super VHS. And then I moved up to like uh, the uh, Digital 8. I gotta remember, Digital Eight is, is the exact same compression scheme as uh, Mini DV and DV Cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the and thing. the FireWire cards, and and then I like, why is it all wa wavy line throughout the screen when I edited it oh, on my computer yeah. because of the de interlacing? Yeah. Oh yeah, fun days, fun days. I, I'm Back so glad we live in a world with 720p. And 1080p and and 1080 and 1080i. We sell oh, I, 1080i. I hate 1080i. 1080i. I hate. <laughs> 1080i. You're gonna get lines. <laughs> let, let, let us uh, just review it. Uh, uh, a GTX uh, <laughs> 480, which has no uh, HDMI uh, output, but just antenna to broadcast. Uh, over uh, over the air to your TV, and there's no cooperation and it worked. But the problem is that they say uh, it's 1080p, but when you watch the uh, the uh, over the air from the video card, it's 1080i, so <laughs> it's look like I said yeah. nothing. <laughs> I think we uh, lost our commander in chief. Yeah, the commander in chief is uh, coughing his his life not right now. So, Kurt, what's up on your side? So we need to make a show by ourselves now. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of went for the. Moon. Oh, did I miss that he was he was signing off? No, he's not saying he's signing off. No, he, no, I just coughed and I. Oh, there he is. He's just That's off bad. for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it's communicating. So now I'm going to put my uh, 125 dish back up, 125 West uh, KU dish back up, so I can watch uh, the PBS national energy. feed because right. it's really nice uh, quality feed. I don't know if you've ever any of you guys ever watch it, but it looks really nice. Which yeah. feed is that? Uh, the uh, the PBS uh, feed from 125 West. 125? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Do they have it in uh, in 4K or 1080? No, but it's 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 pretty high. Oh, yeah. The feeds think... there are really good quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it really looks good on my upscaling to 4K on my TV. Oh, yeah. The, the bandwidth on PBS always been to the max. Uh, there's some channel like that that use the world bandwidth available to them. I actually so, like the channel. On um, 125 West, I probably have better documentaries on that on there than you'll see on the Louisiana PBS over on 87 West. 
when you watch television on the computer like me, you can see the bandwidth. And if I do remember, PBS is about 25 to 30 Mbps. So they're to the roof uh, for the bandwidth. So no oh, wonder yeah. the quality is good. Yeah, like 10 years ago, if you wanted to get H- free HD TV, if you had a satellite dish for in a receiver and you got the PBS feeds, that's probably one of the best things you got out there. Like uh, back in those days, even if you had like Bell or Shaw or whatever, uh, you get the 720p or the little bit, the little bit rate HD quality uh, on satellite TV. Yeah, back in the day, I'm not sure it's still the case, but cable and satellite and uh, the the SS, the, the local such the Shaw and, St- and Bell of the world were all using 720p when most of the time for to save bandwidth so those those are the days of the mp2 scheme so uh, mm. nowadays it's more easy to make more i think uh um, yeah 125 pbs is mp4 though isn't it yeah i'm pretty sure it is yeah i can look it up here i got links out here or um uh, TV or yeah, that way, just 20 mbps uh megabyte per second for an mp4 I can tell you that it's a plenty. It's plentiful of bandwidth to make the quality. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mix. It could be MPEG too, though. Um, I think it was at one time, and they upgraded their. Um, they went and upgraded it. It was originally MPEG too, but I think they've uh, since um, might may have switched to MPEG four. Yeah, uh, uh, if I do remember, I saw uh, some re- uh, some broadcast receivers. They use for uh, to take the to take the 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 C band signal and put it on the air uh, over the air. And what the providers and uh, OTR uh, antenna what they like to do is not take the image but restream the string they got and repackage it. So uh, that could be a reason for them to stay in uh in uh, mpeg2 so because most yeah mpeg4 uh, yeah it's mpeg4 here i listed on on uh, right. okay. yeah and um three four of the channels are 1080 and they still have like creates standard and world standard and fn access standard that's a problem with telecommunication. Everything's changing all over yeah. the time. All and PBS time. Kids is actually for is, is actually HD. Wait a minute. Yeah, PBS Kids is a separate channel now. Oh yeah, yeah. They uh, uh, so like even with my local over the air, uh, there's a broadcast twenty four seven. Like I can go watch kids shows right now at like a, a ten o'clock at night. <laughs> well, nine fifty one, but at ten o'clock at night I can put on. I don't know what would be on right now, but. <clears throat> yeah, they have a twenty four seven kids channel. Well, I I started watching uh, one twenty five West when uh, the uh, WCNY in Syracuse they redid their antenna. They and they when they did it they switched to a different antenna that was not as high in elevation. And I couldn't get it where I was. But then at the same time, they turned off, they had a translator that was, that's literally like a mile and a half from me and they turned that off. So I, I couldn't get PBS and I'm like, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I keep reading that it's on, you know, it's on satellite. So I swung over and put it on and I'm like, oh, this is great. This, this picture is better than what I get over the air. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, problem with yeah over the air is that they better. use and pick two. And I can, and I can pick that satellite up with a Shaw Direct satellite dish. And so, I mean, they, they went back on the air and all that. They got their, they redid their antenna, they put it back up, and then they turned on their translator. But still, I I still get a better picture. I still enjoy watching it on the satellite as opposed to oh, over C-band. the air because I can just see the difference. <coughs> yeah, you're working it on C-band, is it right? Uh, it's, it's KU band on 125 West. And it's still good. Okay. I'm falling asleep here. Yeah, so like the other PBS feed would be over on 87 West, but it's really three channels. But it's, um, I don't know, it depends on like if you're not able to get 
like you got trees or something. It's nice that there's different PBSs on satellite. And uh, I think LPBS is really you know? It's HD. And, and it, it is MPEG, uh, MPEG 2, not MPEG 4. So it might make some people's uh, old receivers that they buy at a thrift store, even though I tell them not to buy them, but they buy them anyway. And you want to get something with them. That's that's why I don't sell my own receiver because they think they're going to do wonders with that and they come back to me and I got to rem reimburse But I'm them. sorry, pe pe people that ask about their digi, uh, what was the, um, the video cipher two receivers? I'm sorry, they're not going to work, but I keep getting people with my video cipher two receiver from 25 years ago still work. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my God! Those are oh, I get that so much. Yeah, I'm thinking about cool. picking up that receiver. That uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, he just did a, a review on it on uh, on YouTube. That one that's the twenty five or thirty dollars special one. Hobby Coast or what's what's a? Uh, oh yeah, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Um, yeah. I think he might still be in the chat room. He probably dropped off. It won't dropped off. Yeah, we've uh, we were up to forty. Now we're down to fourteen. We were talking about yeah. Skype. <laughs> yeah. all laugh. I don't know. I'm kind of zoned out right now. Or they're just tired. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't blame you. Yeah. Mm. I probably should close the stream um, because my voice is cracking on me right now. Yeah. Um, I, I was going to say tomorrow, dude, but I, I won't be able to do a Discord tomorrow. So I won't be on tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm actually celebrating my mother's birthday. So. Yeah, I got something like that on the go. So yeah. <laughs> okay, you're two buddies holding their head in that right now. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. Robbie, I got a question for you. They say six dot six dot <laughs> oh before the MPEG four or thirteen dot oh uh, what is it exactly? Thirteen dot oh where are we looking at PBS? Yeah, uh, any transponder uh, before the compression scheme is where they say MPEG four and then he, yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. It. it must be the bit What's rate, the right? number uh, again uh, before that? Is it the bandwidth? That bigger, yeah. Uh, it seems to be uh, the bandwidth. So thirteen. I wonder, that, I wonder if that's so far, the bit rate. Is the bandwidth? Is it right? I don't know. I would have made me think so. I'm not sure. Because that's the bit rate. Well, this could be 1.7. Well, for, for uh, as it, is, it could work. 13 seems to be uh, on part, but it's kind of low for PBS actually because uh, I've seen 19. On yeah, that main one's higher. The one on 125, I think it might even be up to around 30 or some crazy thing. Yeah. Really? You'd have to go back. You have to go back to the other page, Robbie, to see what it is. Where did I have it's to probably go? higher on C band, you know. That's why uh, I was asking you if, if it was a C on C band, what uh, the PBS you saw. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, nothing's on this is the same uh, on this day. It says eight point zero, but I don't think it's that that low. Um, uh, it could, on MPEG four. It could be with MPEG four. And pay for it, that's possible, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. For yeah. the quality that I get. I will tell you that two to the two megabytes is, suffi is sufficient for a uh, uh, far television, and eight will work also. It's also a good comparison uh, bandwidth. Thirteen is uh, kind. Of, it's kind of uh, PB, PBS territory. Yeah, that's well, that is my uh, that's nice. Oh, you gotta understand also, it's cat two, it's for two zero. So, if you check for the 13 megabytes, it's probably for two two. Is it possible if you go over the the other pub, uh, PBS we mm -hmm. saw earlier? Yeah, when it says 13, well, we can, go, we can look at the other channels. So there's other channels on the satellite, for example. Montana PBS, which is 
Three. So only three. Is it's only 12, and it's still 4 2 zero, So I don't know. And oh, is it? The channels. I don't know if they tell you the bit rate. Yeah, 7.5 for a. <sighs> Fuck. For a &E that's encrypted. That you're doing about. I don't know if that sounds right. That sounds but like that big four. For do that. Let's put it that way. I will do that, but I will get you more bandwidth if I'm using. Uh, if I'm doing that for a Blu ray or something like that. But for our broadcasting television. Uh, and well, um. When I like that, this stuff, Robbie, the, uh, it's because I knew this stuff. Uh, it's just because I'm using a computer to uh, receive television here, so uh, I see that on a rich channel. All right, well, I'll be a little quiet here. Just to see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, this one uh, down to KU Ben. Well, I wonder what. Oh, I'm sorry, I drove so fast. Family Entertainment, and it's seven twenty. It's about eight. And it's MPEG two. Although they should update that to like MPEG four, I guess they do have some channels that are MPEG four. <clears throat> yeah, but Robbie, what I, I wanted to convey uh, before One is channel, that I know it's five. In five wars. Oh, oh yes, in five wars. Yes. I thought but it was seven twenty p. I thought it was seven yeah. twenty, and it was true. sixty frames per second, but maybe. I don't know if I'm right, um, correct on that. I don't have my receiver. I had some problems with my switch. I've ordered a new one, so I I don't have it. Like so, I, I hooked up to my Open ATV, so I can just stream it and look at the video quality. Never, and I don't never, want to broadcast on YouTube, but and for one, never been on, on uh, full HD. They always been 720p. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is right. I don't no, think they're. That's not right. Right. I think they're the 720, bandwidth. but bandwidth, they're good quality the 720. Right. The bandwidth I think they're 70, is right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What about Linksat? Um, they don't talk about the bandwidth. Oh, they don't? Yeah. So you look at a Linksat for like 91. <laughs> they don't say anything. Yeah. About it, right? <clears throat> but they always been there. <laughs> they, <laughs> and Paul was asking, you know, and I, hopefully I didn't go over your head. I'm probably, we probably went over a few people's heads here. We're looking at the bit rate for the video. Um, uh, it being listed on the on the TVRO set. <clears throat> so I'm, the rate, I, uh, I'm probably going to drop out here. Ty. Yeah, I should probably close this stream now anyway. <clears throat> it's been two, two hours, so it's a, a working land. Oh, Kirk's back. I'll, say, I'll like, bring Kurt up before we go, and then we'll, we're going to yep. go. You're back on there, Kurt. Probably so, sorry gonna wrap about this, that. I, this I, call up here. Yeah, it's getting late. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit and this, it's past my bedtime. I, I like doing it at eight o'clock. It's a little bit earlier, and then I can be done earlier and just be up, be in bed. Uh, yeah. Someone was asking. I think that's what it is, Ryan. Eight megabytes per second uh, is for the bit rate. Um. So. Uh, someone was saying they pay over twenty thousand <laughs> for his feed. Who does talk about okay. it? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> would five be twenty thousand when it's one point? I don't know. <clears throat> it's probably you know jumping through hoops too. So <clears throat> yeah, okay. Well, guys, I think we'll wrap up this call here, and uh, the next. Um, time I stream here, I want to talk about um, like streaming apps. We'll do a little bit of uh, a show about streaming and like Roku's, and I, I'll talk about I'll focus on Roku's because I use a Roku. <clears throat> but if someone wants to call in and talk about streaming, that'll be the next show. Uh, um, not next week, but maybe in a few weeks. We'll do a live stream on that. <clears throat> you got a question here that is. Kind of interesting. Ryan Zara is asking how many megabyte per second Mbps can you put on a transponder? Yeah, I will tell you it part. depends on the modulation you use. Is it QPS key yeah. for QPS key 16 key, uh, etc.? What frequency are you using? Are you in PU? You can um, you 
cram more bandwidth on. So if I remember on my computer, it says uh, it could go up to 80 to 80 megabyte, I think, for a transponder. Is that uh, with a high FEC? Like with like a 7, 8 FEC? Uh, come again? Uh, what do you mean by that? Is that uh, with like a really high FEC on the satellite transponder? Uh, what if uh, I don't understand the word, unfortunately? Oh, uh, I'll show you the transponder again. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm talking about the uh, uh, the FEC, this thing here. Oh, the FEC. Know. I call it yeah. the FEC. Okay. Yeah, the FEC, FEC, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the FEC, also the FEC. But the you see DBS, it says DB my, uh, minus S and QPS key, okay? Yeah. So you have the technology, the the type of modulation you have, the how many times it repeats, Although all those things will give you uh, uh, a bandwidth, but what actually the payload the payload you can put on your uh, yeah the lower so, yeah the lower the FEC the easier it is to get like the high sometimes the high FEC um, transponders yeah. are harder to pick up. <clears throat> but if it's harder to pick up, you can transmit more more uh, more bandwidth. So it's all telecommunication are always a trade off, you know. Yeah. So, so which like trade off is it going to you? SD. <clears throat> I would say close to about forty on a transponder. Compare that to with um, like look at this transponder here on like it's fitting. That's got to be like what twenty channels, and and this, and they were all uh, MPEG two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. But that's, some of these are radio channels, and the radio channels don't use a lot of uh, bandwidth. Oh, but here you see right here. Here is the bandwidth here for the radio channels. 0.125 for the Dr. Gene Scott's radio channel. It's uh, 0.125. So 125 kbps. Yeah, uh, and these are like two megs for an MPEG two channel. Yeah, and the quality and, on this on on Galaxy nineteen, but MPEG two is, is not, so, it's not so, the greatest right? quality. No, it's kind of so so yeah. But yeah, it's, it's kind all, of all this is how you use your uh, what you're showing it. You show what you're showing here is how you use your transponder. It's yeah. what we call the payload. But the full bandwidth of the antenna could be something like 80 or even more, depending on what technology you're using. So let's put it that way, 80 for uh, 80 megabyte for a transponder most of the time. But yeah, and you... like for, for example, if Galaxy 19 was MPEG 4, they fit a lot more channels on there. Like they're using MPEG 2, yeah. and 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 basically with the same quality. If they would go to MPEG 4. They probably fit in, say, making it the same quality, or even if they like, if they had the same quality, and they went to MPEG four, they'd be like a standard definition channel could be like a decent seven twenty p channel. Exactly, but yeah. if you want to cram more of this payload, you need you need to switch from let's say uh, DBS to DBS two, uh, DBS two. So the there's a lot of things that can that that is important on this. So, you DB we switch from DBS to DBS two because of that we were lacking bandwidth, and what? So we went from sixteen modulation to we went from eight modulation on DBS to sixteen modulation at the same time. So that's why we have more bandwidth. And if what you put on it is is stuff like MP4, you have again more channel. So yeah, that's why. So Ryan asks about H.265, and we see this in practice over on. Um, if I can find the channel here, um, mm -hmm. over on uh, 10, <clears throat> 116 West. If we can find it, I had it up here a while ago. XT. H264 will give you four more band, four more channel, four channel for one channel of uh, MPEG4. Yeah, like, like Orbi TV, 
they were they were doing a smart thing there because all their channels were H.265. So they were fitting like a uh, hundred. They fit like a whole whack of channels on like two transponders for their whole Orby Orby TV service with movie channels and everything else. <clears throat> it, I'm gonna put uh, an odd ball here. Remember <laughs> in 1979, uh, the Japanese television they invented the HD television in analog. They needed two uh, two antennas for. Uh, Oh, yeah. I'm and gonna go to sleep, guys. Uh, so, I'm gonna drop out here. I have a nice thanks for uh, chatting tonight, Kevin. Thank We're gonna wrap this up soon enough. Just yeah, all right. Uh, Patrick and Ryan good. brought up an interesting conversation and got me like, Oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about bandwidth. Uh, and, yeah, I'm, I'm falling asleep <laughs> here, so. <laughs> I didn't realize we we're like an ASMR video where you could just put people to sleep. So we're like satellite <laughs> ASMR, put you to sleep videos. Oh, yeah, that, that, uh, that would uh, actually cure my insomnia. A lot. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the music for that on YouTube, if you wish to kill your insomnia, it works. It works uh, wonders. Yeah. Well, I'll see you yeah, guys all later. The channels, so yeah, I have a good night, Kevin. So all the channels on uh, like, this, this I, I think this is a great example of compressing a lot of channels because this channel mm -hmm. here, which is used for the Orbi TV service, but they have all these channels in the clear, is Revival TV. I got, they have a bunch of religious channels here, um, but they're like two megs and they're each dot two six five and they're about seven twenty p. Actually, so, they're a little bit lower resolution than that. I, I think they're miss. Um, uh, yeah, it works. Uh, too. Yeah. I'm not sure it could work. <clears throat> it's kind of low for a uh, full HD, I will tell you, with 2 megabytes. Yeah, no, these channels are not HD. They're kind of like um, widescreen, like they're 900 by, like, they're like a lower resolution. They're 900 by 720 or something. I don't know, some, uh, <clears throat> some lower. Yeah, they're uh, 1280 by 720. That's why we call it 720p. Uh, yeah, yeah no, they're, they're not, actually not 720p. They're even lower than that, but they're not. They're they're a little bit above SD, but they're like an SD widescreen. Uh, yeah, but you're on broadcast television, so if it's widescreen, they're gonna put pillars or or black bars like I do uh, here. Yeah. So if it's widescreen, it's it's gonna be with this at the bottom because they don't they. Uh, it's not a standard to broadcast something that the pixel is not square. So, uh, yeah. well, uh, if they're widescreen, here. they're going to be widescreen inside a, a fort. This channel here is a word network, and they're on a bunch of different satellites. And and like just add network. those two uh, and ones, it will tell you how, how large your, your transponder bandwidth is. <laughs> yeah. So it's about 40, maybe in this case, or 36. And it's 8, P 8 PSK and it's uh, F. F, F so if it's 8 PSK and it's DVBS2, it could be about 40 to 80. Depends on the effect, actually. With that kind of effect, <laughs> I don't remember. Reporting it out of my right. head like that, you know. Uh, one, two, three. I gotta four, have five, my computer working if I for that one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there's 17 channels on there. I mean, when it was Orby TV on those transponders, they were fixing they were fitting like 40 channels per transponder. Doing Makes it this way. Two, a two megabyte uh, for each channel with the, with the payload and stuff, it makes sense. They're not lying to you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, it's uh, ten fifteen, so I'm gonna wind down here, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll we'll talk streaming next time, I guess. Uh, and if something breaks, there's breaking media news that I want to cover or something. Like Skype, yeah. no, uh, not, not, <laughs> like, like like Skype shut it down. Maybe Skype shut down. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see about that. That's I, unfortunate I'm that it. To hear Seems that, like I do fake news, but uh, but you know, we verified the source that there is a source saying that it's, it's shut down, but I, I don't know what's uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Maybe they shut down the um, uh, 
the app or something. I don't know. Yeah. And if you it's not like those famous you, people that they say they're dead and they're not dead. Oh, you know what? And I wanted to address that. Now I'm about to sign off there, but I, I think I'm going to address that. So, like on our on our our satellite group, bring up the page of it. Yeah, there's a thing I don't understand about. Which something. annoys me. One of the things that annoyed me about Facebook over here. Oh, there we go. We're in the background. Um, so like I used to just keep this uh, this group open. Anyone can post on it, but then Facebook changed the way because it used to be as long as you're a member and I approved you, you could post on here. And then they changed it to like anyone can post. I wish they would like. I, 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 there's got to be a setting, but I couldn't find it where members could post. But like outside people, they'd have to try to you know become members. I just wish they did groups the way they used to. Because somebody posted a bunch of obituaries of Bruce Willis and all this, you know, fake news. And uh, so uh, it just, um, uh, so I apologize for that. It's just, uh, I was trying to keep it off, but I liked, uh, I, I'm for freedom. I, I like people just to be able to post whenever. And um, and I don't have to overly moderate this. I found it would self-moderate. You know, so if something was posted that was not acceptable, someone would report it and I would deal with it usually within an hour or so, but uh, we were just getting tons of these obituaries, which a lot of groups are getting them like all over Facebook. So <clears throat> another thing too, is if you're not already uh, this little blue guy version of me here, that's me on Facebook. So if you want to friend me on Facebook, if you don't use discord or whatever, a lot of people use Facebook. Uh, you can, you can reach out to me there. If you've, you, the thing is, just have a profile is that doesn't look like some woman who's a model <laughs> sending me a friend request. I don't think you're interested in talking about free satellite TV. I don't get a lot of those, and I just I I do ignore them unless unless it's a <laughs> there's like some woman that looks like a model that really wants to learn about free satellite TV, and I just think she, I think she's a fake profile. It's like why won't he send my re receive my friend request? Yeah, and the profile that has been made uh, just two days ago. <laughs> yeah, it was made like this week. Yeah. Yeah, gotta love Facebook. Okay, eh? oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, so join the Facebook group, guys. Uh, I'm gonna sign off now. Um, and I, my voice is done. If, it, if someone wants to talk on Discord, I'll open it up. I'm just gonna sit back and listen. I guess. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Talk right, to you so later. Bye. I'm like the friendly giant. I'm gonna move this out. Like did I save on using an antenna and satellite this month? About 160. Then I don't have antenna or satellite TV, but cable company, buy me money. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs>